All right. Hang on. Mm -hmm. Okay, good morning, Fox Rats. Good morning, everyone. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome to episode 34 of Shrine Talk. And of course, with me is our guest, the Lady of Fukuro Sanctuary Cavalier. Please say hello. Hey. So, um, would you like uh, kindly introduce yourself to the Fox Trots? Because, I mean, this is your first time on, oh, yeah, uh, on my channel. So, yeah, I'd like, I'd like the Fox Trots to know more about you before we continue with the topic. All right. Um... My name is Cavalier. You can call me Cavalier Cavi, whichever you prefer. I am mostly a VTuber mama, a V artist, but sometimes I do stream and, you know, do some comfy streams and sometimes I do horror. And yeah, I am basically known as the lady of the Fukuro Sanctuary. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome. So you're more of a artist and you do stream some I mean, like VTuber stuff, right? Like, I mean, horror games, multiplayer games, that kind of thing. Oh yeah. Um, actually, when I do stream, I usually stream like games because, you know, it's it's kind of like my time to rest for a bit from all of the art craze that I've been doing, the commissions and stuff. So mm. yeah. Um, that's why that's why like, whenever um I go live, it's always like me trying to have fun and have like um like games instead of art because ugh, i've had a lot of art in my daily life already so yeah yeah change of pace i mean mm -mm. there are some people who use streaming as uh, a job which is viable but of mm -hmm. course most um it's basically like i mean it's a hobby but it's a hobby that i can get money off of so why not right yeah. so for you right. is it more is it more of a hobby that i mean like yeah hobby plus i get paid so cool or is it leaning more towards i mean it's kind of like a side job mm, okay so the thing is when i started vtubing i was more of like a you know what um it doesn't really matter if people like me or not as long as i stream i think you know like it's kind of like a passion of mine like a like a like just a hobby mm -hmm. but then you know like suddenly i don't know what happened people actually started to like my content and i kind of had like this responsibility of being a content creator and produce like these professional um content creation you know i got this like responsibility and at the same time i've also been like you know earning decent amount of money so i kind of see it as more of like um yeah a side job you know like i in instead of just a hobby it's kind of like a passion project mm -hmm. whatnot and also like um a responsibility at some point but still having fun nonetheless you know um yeah so it's kind of like how most vtubers started then but speaking of which of course let's get down to the questions right so i think just about any vtuber who did start streaming be it on twitch or youtube um who or what got you into the vtubing rabbit hole i mean i think before we were vtubers we were definitely like just fans of vtubing at some point Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, probably Amelie, you know, like she kind of ah. was my inspiration to start this whole thing. Also, I'm sorry, by the way, if you can. Oh my god, I'm no, I'm sorry if you can hear background noises. Holy crap! It's, no, it's okay. Uh, I, I can't hear anything. <laughs> you can't hear. Okay, that's good. But like, um, yeah, Amelie, I've seen her like at debut. Um, what is this? Like her debut video. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. Like, I that 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 looks amazing, like the art and something. And then she kind of like, you know, got me interested in the VTubing and stuff. And then I saw her being so aesthetically ple pleasing and whatnot. And I was like, oh, I wanna I wanna be an artist for that. So basically I kind of started off as like mainly an artist for VTubers, you know? 
and then the the main thing that got me like really inspired to pursue like streaming is probably my clients along the way like oh what would it feel like to be in their shoes you know like i thought of it as like um something i can experience so that i can do my job better as a v artist if you know that makes sense well, that completely makes sense yeah but interesting so your first okay so what kind of got a foot into the vtubing rabbit hole was amelie and then <laughs> what got you like definitely more knee deep was your clients that's awesome yeah yeah that's hella awesome crazy. All right, cool, cool, cool. Well, for me, it was definitely, I mean, I think I got into the VTubing rabbit hole around, what, near near COVID? And mm -hmm. yeah, near COVID year, I, I started watching like uh, Hololive VTubers and I'm like, oh, oh my God, this yeah. is pretty cool. That's hella cool. Oh. Mm -mm, definitely yeah and before holo en was a thing the only vtuber i could watch at that point was coco because she was the only <laughs> one that actually did speak english and kind of did her streams like in both english and japanese which was hella cool <laughs> and yeah the more i watched I was like, you know what? This is actually hella cool. And then I started doing research as to like, okay, how much does it cost to do this kind of thing? Because I'm pretty sure it's complicated AF to make a like oh, a live yeah. 2D model and to rig. And I saw the price. I'm <laughs> like, wow, these are definitely high, but definitely, understandably, yeah. it's quality work. Quality work. Yeah, it is and quality it work. Worth it. It's really worth it, you know? Mm -hmm, absolutely. But, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm just, yeah, I'm just amazed by the whole VTubing thing. Even if I've been here, like, I'm kind of new, like, I'm, I'm, I'm really new into this. Like, I haven't even been here for, like, a year at all, mm -hmm. you know, like, like, streaming-wise. I haven't even, um, like, landed a, a year, like, I haven't had my one-year anniversary yet. But, yeah, like, mostly I do deal with, like, making the vtubers for the clients and yeah it's it's been very fulfilling you know especially as an artist who wants to find inspiration to draw something mm -hmm. it gets really hard you know, finding subjects and whatnot and sometimes it gets really like hard to find clients as well that is you know outside vtubing but this this community right here yes yeah, definitely generous you know um i I find a lot of like really kind and generous clients and whatnot. So yeah, very, I like it. I like the community. Okay, glad to hear that. I mean, the VTubing community, unfortunately, can be a bit, I don't know. I mean, it does have, it does, every community, I think, has their bad batch of members. I mean, they can oh, be, yeah. they can be toxic, they can be gatekeepy, etc. And the VTubing mm -hmm. community is no, no stranger to that. But I hope that so far your, your um, entrance into the VTubing community, not as just a member, but an actual VTuber, I'm hoping mm -hmm. like your welcome has been very, very warm, very good. I hope. Yeah, like it was actually like it's been really like a apart from all like the stresses and and like the drama and stuff. Mm. Like the VTubing community is just very sweet, you know, and very supportive and very creative, and I love it. That's why I stayed. You know, like I stayed because it's very. It's a nice community despite all the drama, you know? Mm. It's worth staying. Yeah. So Awesome. Nice. Very nice to hear. <laughs> Alright. So <laughs> when you got in, like, not as a VTuber, but as a member of the VTubing community, did you think mm -hmm. about debuting as one like very soon? Or was it like a gradual thing that took time? Took a while before you considered, mm -hmm. like, you know what? I should do VTubing. Mm. Um, it actually was something that 
gradually happened. Because, mm-hmm. like, it wasn't something um, I was even thinking of, okay? Like, I didn't even think about the fact that, you know, like, oh, I'm going to be a VTuber. Like, I never even thought of streaming at all. Like, oh. if I'm being honest. Yeah, like, I just wanted to draw models for people, you know? Like, make mm. art for them. That's it. Um, but I guess, you know, like, the moment I see clients, like, you know, like, um, artists when when they watch their clients you know to support mm. i kind of got inspired to do that you know like mm. i'm like oh streaming looks fun like like if i'm being honest i never even thought of myself being a streamer at all like i didn't think i was i don't know like fit for being a streamer you didn't think yourself as it. like streaming material mm? is is that what you're trying to say like you didn't see yourself uh, as streaming material or yeah mm. basically yeah like i was just like an like you know like an artist i guess so like um but i tried i tried i i started with like joining my streamer friends in their voice calls you know i think that's like one of the things and then after that they some of them they kind of like um told me oh my god yeah Yes, you should go stream and stuff like that and i'm like okay bet let's go let's do mm. it and then i did i kind of like started as a png tuber mm-hmm. and yeah like people apparently liked my voice you know like they were like mm, very nice you actually sound like a streamer i'm like oh thank you i didn't expect that but yeah and then here i am now i guess like i did not even expect myself to have a model for myself i guess but mm-hmm. well i was i was itching to make one myself because you know like it kind of i don't know like i just want one for myself because i've been making a lot of models for other people yet i don't have one myself you know so you kind of want that so yeah I made yeah i mean myself. it's kind of like um like my cousin i have a cousin that crafts like leather works and iron works Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's kind of like as if like he crafted like leather pouches for all of us, but he doesn't have one for his mm-hmm. own. Like, it's not necessarily weird, but in the grand scheme of things, it does seem kind of weird in a sense. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, you should believe on your own product, no? Like, I think at, at some point it kind of like in a business aspect as well, you know, like if people see you believing in your own product, then they have this like feel that ooh like maybe this is actually like really worth it you know like mm. or they would actually want it more because they see the actual person who makes it use it you know oh so yeah i think at some point like in this vtubing aspect as well and in business like i never i never just saw vtubing as me being a streamer but also kind of like a businesswoman at some point because i'm basically showcasing my own art you know like Mm -hmm. um so it's not just like just another model because whenever like some people come by my stream and they're like oh i like your model and stuff and i'm like oh thank you so much it's something that i made like i made it myself i'm actually a vtuber mama and that you know kind of like um intrigues people you know they they find it really interesting they go to my profile they see me as an artist and then the rest is history yeah. and a lot of my viewers are actually my vtuber children mm. so yeah so well it works and i'm really happy <laughs> well i'm i'm glad you're happy with how everything turned out <laughs> Okay. Oh, so far, mm-hmm. it's going well. Yes, and l- hopefully it keeps going that way. If not, gets better. Yeah, I'm. I'm sure it will. All right. Uh, <laughs> oh. Next, what do you think is the most common? I think this is important. Um, what do you think is the most common mistake that people commit when they are planning to become a VTuber? Okay, like okay. Hmm. Okay, that is important. Oh my gosh, wait. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, I think something that people uh, like make mistakes with, like they commit, is the fact that you should 
you know like for you to start streaming you actually have to have like have a complete setup like you mm. really don't like like you just need i i guess like a, a pc a png tuber and then you stream okay mm. like i've had a lot of clients I, i'm sure they have like their preferences and all but the thing is for them they think that it's a necess like a necessity to have a vtuber model like right away to stream mm. and you know they have like this mindset where oh if you have a model you're going to get viral which is not the case okay there's like a lot of models out there like it's really hard to be unique and whatnot so i think that's a common misconception you know like you don't need a full-on setup to be a streamer okay oh, like, yeah. you have to test the waters first to see if it's actually your thing before you commit into it you know like don't spend a lot of money for something that you haven't even done yet yeah if there is a hint of Perfect doubt mistake. i like yeah i agree if there's a hint of doubt try to test the waters first i mean i myself mm, i exactly. went i went straight with my live 2d model my 1.0 because mm -hmm. i was just really that passionate and ready for streaming as a vtuber but of course, like I could, I consider myself like uncommon in that sense because I think most people do have doubts, especially if they have no experience streaming before. Yeah, I mean, you did kind of research for it, so yeah, you I are did. kind of testing the waters. Yeah, yeah. So, mm -mm. and just to get that, so, get, just to get this out of the way, PNG tubers are VTubers. Okay, we are oh, all yeah, we uh, we yes, appreciate exactly. we appreciate all VTubers here. Vroid, 3D, yes. Live 2D, PNG. You are all VTubers. Okay, all VTubers. Yes, exactly. I mean, literally, like a VTuber is called like virtual tuber okay like it's not like you have to be 2d to be a vtuber no mm -hmm. that's also a misconception you don't need to move to be a vtuber yep you can be a png like what i am right now and i and yeah like i um even up till now a lot of my viewers actually miss you know my png as well i guess for the memories and stuff and hmm. uh, it's always the person that matters, not really the model or or if it moves or not. If your personality is great, you know, like if everyone loves you for who you are, that's what matters, really. I not mean, the, the, quality of the, the model is what will hook people in, but will, what will make them stay really is the person behind the, the yeah, model. Exactly. That's what I honestly yeah. believe. Mm -mm. So you can have mm -mm. a quote-unquote cheapo agree. model or a five hundred dollar one or a thousand. God help you if you have a two thousand um, dollar VTuber model that will hook people. But stay? No, no, no. That's up to you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because no matter how good your VTuber model is, and I mean this in a really good way, no matter how good your VTuber model is, there is another person who has a better one than you your only yeah, saving yeah. grace is your personality like do you have something exactly. that no vtuber model can capture that's that's the most important mm -mm. part i mean yeah. again like i have a lot of friends that i consider their models are way better than not even like say hololive but even like big indie vtubers like i don't know just off the top of my head like maybe bow or yeah. What on, and they have really good VTuber models. They have really good VTuber models. But just when I think like, wow, that's the best VTuber model I've ever seen. I see a new one. I'm like, oh my God, that is hella good. It's like, it, it, yeah, like it if you done, better, actually. it does, it does. So I think mm -hmm. that one of the most common mistakes definitely is that people worry too much about their VTuber model when there are more things that you have to worry about like yeah, um do you even know what kind of vtuber you want to be and what i mean by what kind like what kind of content are you going to do are you going to be an artist streamer mm -hmm. a variety streamer an fps streamer um a person who likes to collab a multiplayer streamer i mean because when you start you want to you want to have a a central theme that's very easy to identify so for example if uh what's like your primary identification point kava if people th if like if people think of the name cavalier like what's the first thing you want them to think about 
Um, she's an artist. <laughs> artist, right? So yeah. Yeah. This means that most of the time, it doesn't have to be all the time, of course. I mean, we're we're still human. Most of the time, mm -hmm. um, Kava will be streaming on Twitch or whatever that is very centered around art. So she could be doing art commissions or watching art related videos, reacting to art, but basically like when people when someone says hey have you seen this vtuber she's named cavalier immediately the response would be oh yeah they they're an art streamer vtuber they like they draw stuff and whatnot mm -hmm. and i think that is more important definitely than your actual vtuber model like when people think yeah. of inari yoko yatra um rayone unagi agi there has to be a very easy like central thing that will pop up to their mind like oh yeah yoko's a variety uh variety streamer on Un unagi agi is an artist streamer yatra is a fighting game streamer something like that mm -hmm. that's one of the things like there are way more important stuff to worry about than your actual vtuber model because yeah. the vtuber model can evolve can change can be fixed but yeah. when you start off having a recognizable identity is way more important very much mm -hmm. i agree with that like i i agree with that because i already experienced it a lot a lot i keep on asking my community like oh what's better for cal what's better like what's a better outfit should i rebrand or something and they always tell me you know what i would love you whatever form you are because you're still cal and that could be really you know <laughs> They caught me in the fields, man. Like mm. I, they, they, they stayed there because of you know. I mean, not yeah, just they stayed the for you. <laughs> yeah, they're staying for you, the yeah. actual person. Mm. Um, you know, using the model, and I think that's what matters the most. You know, like it doesn't really matter what the model, what your model looks like. I mean, sure, it represents you, but that's it. Like it just represents your like appearance. That's it, but that doesn't really, um, you know, that doesn't really um, add up to your personality inside, you know? It's just an appearance. Oh, honestly. yeah. And like yeah. I said, um, realistically speaking, not all of us will be able to compete with um, the likes of Vishojo, Niji, Hololive, oh, yeah, or the ones like yeah. like uh, Amelie or Bao. I mean, their VTuber model costs are really high. Again, realistically speaking, it's just not um, lucrative or viable to try and one up their model. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's just really better to have your own unique personality and thing, and just have a decent enough VTuber model to stand out. It doesn't have to be insane yeah. quality. It just has to. It just has to stand out. Yeah, you know, actually, it, it's so. Isn't it like funny how we actually met because I actually like like I saw you because I liked your model, and I stayed and we stayed like you know mutuals and friends because I liked you as a person. You know. Oh yeah, it was I, a shot in the yeah. dark. I just saw like. Yeah, send me a PNG and I'll yeah, react. And like, and okay, I, you know what? Why I not? I totally was in love with your model. Like, that's all I gotta say. I think I said that to you like, like, a lot before, and mm. I still think that it's one of the best that I've seen. You know, it's like really simply elegant, and I love designs like that. I don't know, like, but yes, I I just wanna say, the artist, the designer. They did an amazing job with your model. Well, my really concept nice. artist is my my uh, stream moderator, and she is on <laughs> she is on the stream right now. I'm pretty sure she's blushing right now. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, wow, honey, you did a great job. Okay, mm. like that. that Hear is that, just Unagi? She said you did a good job. Very much, very much. Mm -hmm. And yeah, like I'm just in awe. And, you yeah, you as a streamer as well you just you gave it justice man you gave it justice. well i try i still try i mean i honestly believe that everything you do as a vtuber or really just as a person it's a process it's a never-ending process i mean you like you try to perfect like 
I I'm talking about you, of course, Kava. Like, you're trying to perfect your craft in art. That is never mm -hmm. gonna end. Like, when you think, okay, I've reached my peak. Somewhere down the line, you're like, nah, I can do better. <laughs> it's, it's just yeah, gonna, no, it's just gonna keep going. True. Realistically, it's gonna keep going. So, as, true, like, yeah, yeah. a brand, right? As a brand, mm -hmm. I'm trying to prove that, you know, the typical filipino gamer is not toxic or whatnot like it's a never-ending process i'm not gonna stop because mm -hmm. like again like just because a good person does something bad doesn't immediately make them a good uh, a bad person and just yeah. because a bad person does something good doesn't immediately make them a good person they have to keep doing that thing so that they can rightfully say or others will say that yeah you know what you are a good person yeah but i've done yeah. this i've done that yeah but you've done more good than bad yeah exactly. it would be a lie if everyone like believed that no one has done anything bad in their entire life that is not yeah, very yeah. likely even like the nicest people i've known have done something bad even though it's just small it is still bad mm, I mean, at least in their true. vocabulary but they are still very good people they're still very good people yeah. and again like what i said it's a process it is a process people are capable of making mistakes the most important part is are they capable of moving and learning from their mistakes because yeah, again like exactly. the mistake itself is very trivial what you do after mm. is the most important part like are you gonna let it eat you up are you gonna learn from it be better or or what i mean it's really exactly. the most important thing okay yeah, I agree on that. yeah. okay uh next question has there been something during your first steps so like during the planning phase or just before you debuted to becoming a vtuber that you wish you could have done better i think all of us have had this because <laughs> i know i do uh, well definitely like um hmm let me think probably um i yeah like the thing is as someone like as someone who has like so much expectation for oneself you know i mm -hmm. know it's not healthy but it's just me, I guess. Like, I have such high expectations for myself. Hmm. I wish I could have, like, done more, like, what do you say? Like, things to give during the debut, you know? Like, I felt like there was, like, something lacking. Like, um, I need more art, you know? Like, I have this, like... Oh, like, you wanted, wanted to do, like, a video or something? Like a lore video. A lore video. Like, ah, uh, all right. Yeah, I did not have that. Because, oh, well, number fine. one, I'm very busy with commissions. So I couldn't, like, you know, I couldn't, like, <clears throat> uh, draw it, like, all of it. Mm. And number two, if I commission people, it's going to be really expensive. And I kind of, like, you know, I um, poured everything out in mm -hmm. my other ones, like my rigging and stuff. So yeah it's, it's it's really like expensive but yeah i think something that um also ha like the struggles before debut is um for me personally i think it's like you know those like pre-debut stress where you think like nobody's gonna come yeah or like you feel so lonely yeah, I remember I did happened. message you about that. <laughs> I, I did message <laughs> you about that. Talk. We did, yeah, and we had like this talk. And thank you, by the way, it actually helped me a lot. Um, but yeah, that that type of like stress, most 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 of the 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 problem is probably like that. But overall, like I could say, my experiences with like making the art for my debut or um, working with artists has been a pleasure. Mm. excellent really and i've had no issues whatsoever with the whole like planning thing because everything kind of just you know like went well mm. it's just you know my mental state being like oh something's wrong even though there's not really nothing much is wrong mm. it's just me finding the simplest mistakes and what i do i think that's about it mm. Well, for me, um, and I'm gonna take like a quote here. I believe it was Shiger Shigeru Miyamoto who said that a delayed game will eventually be good, but a badly released mm -hmm. game will always be shit. 
Uh, of course, you did use the word shit, but basically, I'm paraphrasing here. Exactly. Um, exactly. I've seen so many VTubers be in the pre-debut phase, but they're not even, like, streaming as a PNG. Like, I get it. Like, finding an artist that, one, you can trust, because, yeah, be careful looking for an artist even on Twitter. It's the wild, wild west there. You don't know if someone will just take your money and run, which which has happened several times. Thankfully, it hasn't happened to me. But yeah, basically, <laughs> um, finding an artist that you trust, that's one. Number two, finding an artist that fits your art style and your model. And then mm. number three is the pricing. And then number four, are there commissions up or how long is like the model turnover? And then you have to find mm. a rigger. And then you have to think of like, okay, I need a VTuber name. Then what's the theme? And then even before that, you're like, wait, do I want to be a humanoid VTuber, an animal VTuber, a this VTuber, a that VTuber, yada, yada, yada. Um, there's just a lot of things. But once you have the basic stuff, um, like I said, you can still debut and even Kava herself, um, before she quote unquote officially debuted as a VTuber, she already did stuff as a PNG tuber basically yeah. she her name was already out there people already knew who cavalier was before she yeah. was a live 2d vtuber <clears throat> and yeah. problem is like i don't know i honestly don't know what is worse taking so long to debut or being in pre-debut hell but in my opinion being in pre-debut hell is way worse <laughs> because, oh, no, like, because like because like it's mm -hmm. way, yeah it's way worse like um it's just it's just all like this i don't know it's just like this like sudden sudden force just like stabbing you in the back just like okay you're gonna get stressed now and i don't know it just happens out of nowhere okay like like everyone like probably experiences that mm. you know like i've heard it so much with my friends even before i debuted let me tell you it's real nobody is not stressed on pre-debut oh, yeah. you know same like, here you always right like there's always like this experience like that mm. but i guess it kind of pays off when you actually do the debut itself you know yeah um it's really it's really like rewarding if i say so myself oh yes yeah. and of course i mean not just that but like um as coming from someone who has studied marketing and advertising like when you're mm -hmm. most pre-debuts right they do that oh yeah um x number of retweets x number of likes huh you'll see my my up to my thighs and then after that oh you'll see up to my bust and then finally face reveal like okay cool um thing is once you get that ball rolling you are setting expectations not from yourself but from your audience as well like once they see your model or like Ooh, can't wait for this VTuber to debut. That is when you put yourself in a trap. Because you've built this hype. You've built this expectation. You have to eventually release it. Because that kind of hype, you cannot do again. You cannot, yeah, exactly. you cannot build that from scratch again. It's just not possible. Because, um, again, when you're in this pre-debut hell after you've shown your model, like you got to get something out. Because Ooh, people will be cool. waiting and waiting and waiting until they lose their patience and they're like, you know what, I'll watch someone else. Or like, oh, hey, another another VTuber yeah, revealed their model. Yeah. I wonder, maybe hopefully they won't be in pre-debut hell and you've lost your hype. So I think yeah. before you start, before any v any aspiring VTuber starts their, um, their debut or whatnot, I really think they should plan ahead. So yeah, if it, it doesn't matter, like, yeah, I have an artist, I have this rigor, um, I think I can debut in two months. And then let's say you get yeah. the artist, right? Then let's say that your artist gives you your model and then you're having second thoughts like, wait, I think I can find a better rigor or I think I should um, reconsider like my branding and stuff. It doesn't matter how long you haven't shown anyone your model yet. You haven't even teased your model yet. Or even if you did, it's just a tease. Like you haven't fully revealed it yet. Mm -hmm. So you can delay that really long. You can you can absolutely delay it. Yeah. But once you do that, yeah, X number of 
retweets and likes which i did not do because i i just um i didn't agree with that uh method i mean it is a good method but i just didn't agree with it but anyway um after you do that and it pops off like you're getting hundreds of likes hundreds of retweets and whatnot hundreds of comments are like oh I, li I love your model i can't uh i can't wait to um watch your debut i followed you on twitch already blah 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 if that after that tweet if there is like radio silence no debut after like three or four months you are in big trouble <laughs> And that's if you're lucky big enough trouble, to be in yeah. big trouble because some people will just outright forget you. That's the worst part. Then, yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's the worst part. So yeah, if you just delayed it for even another six months or hell, even a year, at least when you have something ready, complete, to like, yeah, I can debut anytime now. I'll start teasing this. I'll start revealing the model and the face of the model, whatnot then you have something ready so that there is literally nothing to worry about in terms of like yeah. debuting right everything is basically ready it's basically ready yeah. because again the building hype is both a blessing and a curse because once the hype is huge expectation is huge so you have to mm. release it but then if it gets delayed indefinitely or way too long like you basically do more damage if you didn't hype it up in the first place yeah yeah it's basically That's worse true. than if you just you know delayed it yourself before showing anything so yeah for yeah, any aspiring true. vtuber preparation 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 just plan everything ahead of time before you do anything like mm -mm, if mm -mm. you if your vtuber artist gives you a draft and you're like really excited which happens to a lot because i got excited myself when uh i got the draft for my 1.0 and 2.0 model but i had to control myself like no 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 don't twist don't 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 um tease this on twitter yet until you're absolutely ready so yeah like um plan everything ahead of time delay stuff if you have to because trust me when once you build hype and expectations you have to deliver and it's like a time bomb you have a window yeah. to debut or else you're done i mean i yeah. have i have a friend who is still in pre pre debut but at least he streams as a png tuber so he's making his you know his personality known and whatnot so he can start building his brand yes unagi we're, we're, i'm talking about chaos but at the very least like he is you know and funny how it's kind of on brand for him because i mean his name is literally chaos the cosmic being and like we really know him as freaking chaotic so yeah it's kind of on brand so there are creative ways <laughs> to play there are creative ways to play around um hiccups in your debut right so yeah it doesn't have to be all yeah. bad it doesn't have to be all bad there are ways to play around it but yeah most importantly i mean it's very it's very circumstantial it doesn't happen all the time that's why i think it's better that you prepare i mean we've heard this especially in covid prevention is better than the cure <laughs> all right exactly so yes yeah breathe breathe yes because you don't you do I not want to blow thousands of dollars for a quality model in a rigor but too late yeah like yeah they gave it to That's you true. but you hyped it so much but they you thought they deliver it at a window but yeah there yeah well my advice honestly mm -hmm. like, like this is like a really straightforward advice to people who want to debut like wait till your model and the rigging is done oh before yeah before you do any sort of um like whatsoever because you're already sure that it's done you know like mm -hmm. sure you can wait with whatever else art okay it's fine as long as the model and the rigging is prepared then you can do your whatever you're trying to do with the marketing and, and such because that's what i also did i i just i i also noticed <clears throat> that a lot like a lot of the posts actually goes like you know pops off whenever you showcase the rigging as well you know like so showcase it actually moving yeah and people people like it a lot so that gives you more traction plus you have like a you know like um an easier t 
time to think when you're actually going to be debuting because well the model is already there mm -hmm. so yeah and just, i mean this is this is free advertising advice from someone who has actually studied advertising if you're advertising your vtuber model do it gradually all right so when you have your fully rigged model don't show the rigged model right away you have to gradually build up the hype right so you can show like a like a portion of your vtuber model and then a few days later bust up and then a day or two after that the full model and then the next week show them how the rigging works like your facial expressions the physics etc that's how you do it you yeah. don't just like yeah i have everything i'll blow all this hype in one day like no and i, yeah, I mean don't do that Teases. But, uh, yoko Teases. isn't it teasing i'm like sorry but it advertising is still an art and at some in some facet it is a business in a sense you don't just blow the load in one go that's like i get it it may work but we're not doing like guerrilla stuff here it, it, it we have to play it safe yeah we have to play it, it safe well i mean it doesn't work that much i mean it works once that's it you know yeah. like, just once and everything else also side just a side um talk i guess i'm mm -hmm. just really you know like I'm, I'm so glad to be able to meet someone who's also like you know like have a lot of knowledge with marketing because i'm part of the marketing department Ooh. in my work right now <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm actually like i i have studied it and also i'm working on um a marketing department uh specifically on graphics uh. so yeah i'm i'm yes i'm a graphic designer like in my you know in my real job um so yeah i'm so glad that we're able to talk about this <laughs> yes and yes ryan that is actually a very good me metaphor start with the appetizers first and then the main course you don't just give the main course right away right it's i mean I'm, that's what people are after like yeah we want the full model yes but people will appreciate it more once they're like ah we have with the appetizers they're like oh so we kind of know what kind of quality or you know taste that we can expect from this restaurant from this vtuber model and then you show the main course you show the fully rigged vtuber model that is a proper way to do it yeah exactly i agree yeah all right so last but, uh, question before the brief like break so do your relatives slash family slash friends know you know about you being a vtuber just my immediate family actually just your immediate like, family yeah yeah because well um they so they would know my schedule you know like with streaming and stuff hmm. like, and also because i'm very close to them like they should know everything about it they know i'm cal you know they know my name but oh they respect that i remain anonymous okay so mm. they respect that that's why that's why i trust them to you know i trust them to keep it a secret and yeah like not only that they also support it like all the way nice they, they, yeah i always share them my works and something maybe that's the reason why because you know like i show them that i made this model you know oh i made another art of this one and they're like that's so good and yeah they, they support me with whatever i do and i'm really happy you know I, I i love them very much and they're really close with me so yes they deserve to know everything mm -hmm. that is awesome yeah, especially but, like given asian families <laughs> i know right like um yeah asian families but mm. i'm i'm really glad that my parents my my brother is very supportive you know like um i'm very happy with that one and i i make sure as well that you know um it's really complicated if you like um say it to the other relatives you know it gets really complicated hmm. especially because like i have cousins who are also um what is this like vtuber what's this called like a vtuber enthusiast mm -hmm. i don't want to say that i'm a vtuber because like uh oh it might you know be complicated 
and at some point like i don't even trust them they they probably like snitch me like at some point even like i i had like this artist name before i told them to respect my artist name especially when i'm in big events such as like conventions you know like mm. but they still call me by my real name i'm like what oh, the oh my I'm god like, that sucks mm. yes I thought that's he got why that. i yeah, I. That's why I kind of abandoned that artist. And now I'm, I'm, and now I'm Cav, I guess. Well, <laughs> I'm Cav now. Well, and, as Mom and Ari always told me, charge it to experience. I guess that little <laughs> mishap with your relatives. I'm Just not, think I'm, of it as a learning uh, experience, I guess. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, for me, yeah, my immediately family, my immediate family does know that I am a VTuber, and only my closest friends know that I am a VTuber. Yeah. And yeah, so far they oh, yeah, do respect. Too. They do respect like my privacy and whatnot. And hmm. I mean, a lot of them were there for my debut, and not just for my debut, no. but for my streams. And even until now, a handful of them still like watch and sub and whatnot it's really really cool no that's so sweet and but if as for me, and, i get really mm -hmm. awkward though so ah. like i don't like you, you know like i'm fine with my my close <laughs> friends to watch but i just don't want my family to watch i they know me they know my 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 twitch and whatnot i just ask them not to watch because i get really awkward ah. especially because like the yeah, like my streams aren't really like exactly like 100% say so. Well, I'm not really sus. Like I'm still re like really wholesome. I'm a comfy streamer, yeah. But I can just imagine that conversation. How do you explain ASMR? Um, You're like about that. Yeah. <laughs> about oh. that. Uh... Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. I'd rather not get into that topic mm -hmm. anymore. Let's just eat our lunch. Yeah. But mm. something like that, you know, like they might bring it as a topic, tease me from time to time. So I, I'm not gonna go with. <laughs> but yeah, understandable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go on a quick, um, like five minute casual talk break and whatnot. You know, hydrate talking does mm. things to your throat, everyone. So yeah, hydrate, uh, Kava, if you can. I'm, I'm also drinking water right now i actually have been looking for my water because like uh wait i i think i lost my water oh <laughs> god like, give me a go ahead go ahead <clears throat> <clears throat> so how how are you, all you fox struts doing today can't wait to stream fortnite and sf6 for you guys later Use code Kitsune for support a creator in Fortnite. E <laughs> it's blazing hot. Yeah, over here it's fucking humid as shit. <clears throat> it's so cloudy and literally if I open the window, I can smell the rain in the air. It sucks. <clears throat> do, 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 do. do, 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 do.
du 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 I'm back by the Oh, welcome back. Hello. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We're done. Du 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 All right, so what's up? No, oh, we're we're still on we're still on break for another like 4 minutes. 4 minutes. Okay. <coughs> I'm, I'm going to go eat my quesadilla first. Ooh. I'll be back. No prob. <laughs> okay. Just um yeah, just message me if if we're back on, okay? Yep. All right. <coughs> <laughs> Hmm. 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 I should get a talk show BG set. That would be cool to see. Yay. Or I don't know. Maybe even just a... I'm actually thinking of getting just even um like a... A coffee shop BG. So it looks like we're just chatting across the table and whatnot. Multi-cam production looking. Whoa, that's... That is interesting. It's not... Hmm. I am picturing it in my head. But yeah, I think for now I'll start off with the uh, coffee shop thing first. <clears throat> Dun -dun -dun -dun. But I'm already happy with like what I have for Shrine Talk Plus or a multiple like multiple guest streams like I do with this one you know I can just switch between scenes like this but yeah for one-on-ones like this I need I definitely need to get a yeah I will get I'll definitely look for a uh like a coffee shop background you're the barista they sit at the counter yeah something like, like that kind of vibe like, I don't know what I'm thinking. I'll just get, like, a coffee shop background and I'll just, like, horizontally <laughs> flip it. Just so it's, like, um, you know, from my POV and uh, my guest's POV, it will just flip horizontally. So it gives that illusion that, oh, uh, we are seeing from another person's POV. You can get an assistant. <laughs> Do -do -do -do. To serve coffee. Ah, that would be dope. Hmm. At the very least, I'm not gonna beg for coffee. I'm gonna spend money that I worked on for coffee. I mean, I won't say no to free coffee, of course not. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ask for it. If you want the Southeast Asian setting, you can get a BG of a roadside stall and plastic chairs. Are you talking about the freaking monoblock chairs, Ryan? <laughs> that, is, that is so Southeast Asian, oh my god. I agree though. 
the monoblock. Oh my god. Yeah, the OG gaming chair, guys. The OG gaming chair. The freaking monoblock. In my opinion, it's way better than the current gaming chairs, which I think are a scam. Give me a fucking monoblock chair, dude. And come on. Do you guys remember Devil May Cry 5? Virgil sits on a monoblock chair. That freaking mod. They did they did not mod in a gamer chair. They modded a monoblock chair. That's way better. <laughs> oh wait, okay. We're good to go when you are. Drinks in plastic bags. Oh my god, yes, absolutely. And yeah, not Coke, not Pepsi, freaking Sarsi. We drink Sarsi here in the Philippines, man. Not none of that fancy ass Coke. Uh root beer oh Pepsi. Hey, welcome back. So you're all fueled I'm up so with the I quesadilla? <laughs> yeah. It was really it was really good, yeah. <laughs> nice. Alright. So we're you moving. Oh, fresh and hot. Hmm? I hope you freshened up. Oh yeah, I did. Just have my nice cold right. water as usual. Alright. Okay. That's so good. we're moving on to part two. We're getting to the meatier questions. Alright. So Okay. <laughs> what was the toughest part of planning slash debuting as a VTuber? Mm, I think, you know, I got all the technicalities perfectly. Mm -hmm. I think it's moral support. Like, for me, you mm -hmm. know, for me. Mm -hmm. I think, like, it's really hard, especially, like, for someone who's, like, really busy and wanting things to be perfect. Um, and you have long, like, you have long to, like, have someone beside you to reassure you and whatnot. And, and just you know motivate you in something i think that's the toughest thing like you, you know your your mental state while doing this whole thing but yeah like that's that's for me in my experience um the all the technicalities and whatnot you, you can do that you know you can do that all right and stuff it's it's really like the stability you know the stability of your thoughts mm. that's really like a challenge for me <coughs> how about you oh i get that fighting that nagging feeling at the back of your head like can i do better can i do better like <laughs> right, right everything you can it's, have it's everything in place and again i i'm starting to feel this is because of my background in marketing and advert in advertising like i've already set up everything properly why the f why the f am i worried <laughs> like i've already set realistic expectations and whatnot everything's in place i've done test runs why am i still worried yeah i think the hardest part for is sure that, about yeah. Planning debuting as a VTuber is definitely like fighting whatever doubts that creep into your mind for sure. <clears throat> I get it. I get it. Yeah. Because everything think... can be everything else. Like let's say, wait, what about my branding? Or wait, what about my model? Or, wait, what about my overlays? What am I? What about this? What about that? The solution for that is very realistically possible, but. When you start to doubt yourself, that's when it gets yeah. difficult. You, you, did you know, like, like just hours before my debut, I was like, what if I just cancel it right now? Oh, man. Like, literally, yeah, that's that's how bad it was. Like, I was out uh, with dinner with my family at that point. Like, mm -hmm. I had to go out to dinner because I was losing my mind. Like, I don't know what to expect. And then, like, I was just really worried. I don't know what to expect. And I was like, should I just cancel this? <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, like, it happened. And I'm like, and then my family was like, no, you spent a lot of money, time and effort on this. You have to do it. And people are expecting you. So you have to do it regardless what happens. You have to enjoy it. Okay. Like, don't 
don't even doubt yourself don't doubt your capabilities just treat it as a normal stream you know like like sorry give me one sec I'm, i want to cough hold on mm -hmm. all good <clears throat> i'm really sorry about that no it's okay uh, uh, uh but yeah like it's basically just keep keep calm and everything just treat it as a normal day mm. and i did i just celebrated you know like a normal birthday i guess so yeah yeah and from what i've seen because i was there overwhelming success oh i'm so glad i and, mean you know, everyone so was, was hyped i, I was hyped Aww. i just saw like a flood <laughs> so of like texts i'm like ha I knew it. I freaking knew it. I called this right off the bat. Oh no. Like yes, worrying yeah. about this realistic, but I did tell you don't let your worries eat you up. Worrying can be a good thing. Oh wait, yeah. I have a phone call God damn it. Give me a minute. Oh yes, sure, no worries. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Anyway. Oh. Okay, I am guessing Kava lost the connection because she is offline on Discord right now. Woo! Philippine internet connection prevails again. <laughs> All right, let, let's uh, let's wait. Bum bum. Bottom. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Philippine internet, let's go. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know if she is watching this, but guys, what do you think of Cavalier so far? Because she too is a fellow Kababayan. Your next president should have internet as their priority. Ha! That is laughable. Unrealistic expectations there, Ryan. Eh? She seems sweet. She's amazing. She has a nice voice. I can listen to her whole day. True. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I believe I have a clip where. Hang on. Inari, please talk less. I just want to listen to her. <laughs> Hang on. I'm looking for... I'm looking for that clip I did get. Hang on. Channel. There, I found it.
the clip where she was talking about my model's design. Design! I love it! 109-51 I would say she's either a class president or a teacher I an art teacher oh nope oh, welcome back Kava you're right <laughs> Uh, by the way, if you are speaking, I cannot hear you. Discord is not picking your voice up. <clears throat> you hear me now? Okay, there we go. I can hear you now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I'm so sorry my phone died. Oh, and I was like good. panicking. Ah! But I, I have my um, iPad here, so... Okay, we're all... Now I'm so sorry. No, again. no, no. It's, it's <laughs> okay. It's all right. So yeah, while you were away, like just to pass the time, I did ask my Foxtrot. So, what do you guys think of Cavalier? Oh no! They're like, she seems so sweet. Funny. She's amazing. She has a nice voice. I can listen to her the whole day. Uh, so yeah, Enari, please talk less. I just want to listen to her. <laughs> but uh, I don't take compliments very well <laughs> I blush a lot thank you <laughs> all right oh good all good so you're good to go yeah yeah I am okay I'm okay. sorry no, no it's all right it's all right you don't have to apologize that much all good <clears throat> okay all right so yeah um we did mention that like we said the difficult part really about um planning debuting as a vtuber definitely is the uh the day before the debut because like mm -hmm. thinking of a name thinking of a branding your logo your emotes your hashtags your whatnot eventually you'll figure it out but yeah the mm -hmm. the bad feelings the doubt the day before that's the tough part yeah, yeah. It's always the tough part. Yeah. You know, like, what would the debut be without you? You know, like, hmm. what would what would, it, what would it be if, like, you're not feeling well mentally or physically or what? So, yeah, it's always, you should always take care of yourself before anything else. You know, your well-being and whatnot and make sure that you get plenty of rest plenty of you know like how, how do i say this like socialization with your friends you know for mm. assurance yeah i yeah. bet you it's really cool yeah so you can get that vibe like good vibe in your stream yeah probably the best thing <laughs> mm -hmm. i agree all right um next question so Vroid or 3D and live 2D VTubing has its pros and cons. So did you consider debuting as the other instead when you took into account the pros and cons? No, not at all. Ah. I actually never imagined myself as a 3D 3D model because I always wanted to become a 2D. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. me personally, like, yeah, I did check, like, the pros and cons of, like, Vroid or 3D versus Live 2D. Now, of course, with Live mm -hmm. 2D, there are a lot of app, third-party apps and programs that uh, support Live 2D models, especially through VTube Studio, very easily. <clears throat> and eventually, those programs also did start supporting Vroid or 3D models. Now, of course, yeah. with Vroid 3D models, the animations um, have full, well, yeah, full 3D. So rotating and whatnot is not going to be a problem. And with proper rigging, 
it's not gonna be that much of a problem either with 2D, but there are still like artifacts, right? Like no matter mm -hmm. how good you are at rigging your model or how good the artist layered like the parts of the mm -hmm. of the model, uh, there are just mm -hmm. some things like you can't fix. I mean, like um, realistically, a V-Ride model will definitely look better looking left and right than a 2D model, at least up to a certain point. Then it becomes very obvious that ah yeah, this is a 2D model. <laughs> So it becomes very, yeah. very tricky. Mm -hmm. Well, that's why um, I think that's why, um, like, for example, Onagi here, she does have a V-Roid and a Live 2D model, which she both made herself, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, she has, she basically has the best of both worlds so yeah i guess that's one advantage but of course um it is only a special case when for example if you are someone like unagi and cavalier who makes their own models i think that's not really a problem for them it's really just time time and effort's the only problem i guess I but it's of course time. for people like me who do not have the know-how or the skills to do so Money is the problem. <laughs> Money is the problem. Yes. Money. Yes. It mm. could be a problem. That's, that's yes. true. I mean, for me, I, it is kind of like a problem for me as well because I love supporting artists. So I want to like commission them. You know, I just, I don't want to be just the one who does the art for me. Mm. I also want other people. So they could like, so I could see Calvin different styles, you know? Oh and yeah, that's really, cool. Really, yeah, it's really rewarding. But yes, money, <laughs> budget. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty I, sure. Imagine if we're rich. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sure Yatra would know what that's like because she is. I consider her a skebaholic. I mean, every few days, hey. I see her post what? like another skeb. I'm like. What the fuck? How many scabs? <laughs> How are you able to sustain this? Oh, <laughs> but hey, like Both it's like a thousand art already. What the hell? Like it's her money. I trust her to be able to manage it. But hot damn, <laughs> it's still like something I, to consider. I, I like envy. wow. <laughs> I am there. Mm. I I want to have that lifestyle too. <laughs> uh, but Bro. you know, yeah, budget. Yeah, Rat that's, Papa that's is fun. the one who pays for the skebs. Oh, okay. So that's, I guess that is your, I guess that is Yatra Papa's way of supporting you. Okay, that's hella wholesome. Aw, that's so sweet. That is awesome. All right. Um, next question. I think it's going to be interesting hearing from you. Now that you have <laughs> debuted, <laughs> what are your worries? Um, consistency. Consistency. Or, uh, mm -hmm. Actually, I'm not. It's not about the consistency of me. You know, like I, I'm very much aware of how what I do and how I do it. Mm -hmm. Probably like consistency, in a sense where, is everything going to stay the same? Are the people who love you dearly and you who you love, going to be there for you still? You know, like mm. you know those worries. You know, and um. Are you going to be more than who you are right now? Are you actually improving? You know, it's always what I say to myself. Mm. Like I always assess myself. Are you, are you moving at all? Have you plateaued or are you still going or something like that? So, yeah. I mean, those are very like realistic worries. And in my opinion, those are mm -hmm. the good ones because like I said, I did tell you, wor you worrying can be a good thing. You worrying can be a good thing. Like, fear doesn't always have to be a bad thing. I mean, like I said, like, fear can force a person to do something. It's really just up to perspective because I honestly believe that, like I said, fear can prevent a person from doing something, which is the most common case, or it can force a person to do something that is usually the better outcome in my opinion so yeah like yeah. um if you have this fear that like 
um or worry that man i might not do good like what if people were right like i should have stayed as an artist maybe i shouldn't have debuted as a vtuber but if you're like you know what f those people i'm gonna prove them wrong or like you know what there are more people that support what i'm going to do than those who don't want me to do said things so you know what i'll just i'll just worry less about them and i'll just worry about those who actually care right because yeah, re you realistically great. realistically speaking you cannot please everyone it, it, it is impossible and um again back to a video game metaphor we see this a lot like Video games that try to appeal to everyone, they they end up alienating everyone, right? Like, if a game like FromSoft games are really hardcore, that's fine. Like, they know that majority of people who will buy that game are hardcore gamers. And then there are other games that are like, no, we know that it's more appealing to the casual player base, and the casual player base is always bigger, so we're, we'll cater to them. That is okay. But when you try to please both, you end up disappointing both, especially if you do it wrong, because it is incredibly difficult to do so. Mm. And in my opinion, it's quite the same in VTubing. Like, you have to balance, like, what do you want to do? And what do your audience, what does your audience want you to do? Because if you focus too much on what your audience wants to do, you lose that enthusiasm and that will affect your person when you stream and they're like wow like something is not right like he she doesn't like what they are doing right now like what the f like they'll start to worry but then eventually they're they will see that ah uh, they're not they're they are just they're not enjoying what they are doing like what's the point but of course if you <laughs> focus too much on what you want to do or worse you disrespect what your audience has to say like yeah they'll just see you as very selfish so it is a very tight rope balance kind of thing you can you cannot um you cannot bend the knee to your audience but you also have to listen to what the audience has to say so yeah th that is definitely a never ending in my opinion it is a never ending worry that not just vtubers but streamers have to deal with for sure like i want to do this but will my audience actually enjoy me playing this doing this so yeah. you find yeah. so what you can do is you find you try to look at your vods you try to do some retrospection like maybe they may not like me trying out a fighting game but how can i bring the vibe or whatnot what they enjoy from me when i do art into fighting games so yeah, there is a middle ground. There is a way to solve that solution if you try hard enough and if you want it to succeed enough, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So yeah, something like that. <clears throat> I, I love my audience very much, dearly. <laughs> They're the reason why I'm here, actually. Like, I, I guess I wouldn't be here right now. You know, I wouldn't be... Um, the calf that you know today without without my community at all because they're the ones who inspire me and to who help me grow as a streamer i mean i speak i i speak for myself also when i say that yeah i mean everything i do right now what i have become it's definitely because of my community because of my foxtrots and the soft boiled community as well and i think i can speak also for other mutuals that are also vtubers like yeah um they are who they are because of their their community their success and them being able to move despite a couple of hiccups or failures is definitely because of the community like it is realistically a community effort that's why um i that's why recently whenever i say i'm live i don't say i'm live i say we are live because i honestly think that when i go live as in arioko like i consider a community part my community part of that 
and yeah like whenever i do wh when i did do my speed run in resident evil 4 i did say we did it like we as a community did it because yeah everyone really supported me and uh you know um just um even if they yeah. didn't express it verbally or whatnot like i could feel like yeah don't give up you got this yeah they're they're really our primary source of inspiration in pursuing this whole thing mm. and i agree with you i also do like say we are now live when i when i go live you know like i i i agree with you on that you know like it's it's the stream is not just for my um you know just for me to have fun but also to entertain them you know mm. like that's probably most like probably the purpose you know of us streaming to entertain people to make sure their day is great or they we you know we make them somewhat make their day better we make them happy yeah and yeah Okay, um, we're moving on to the last three questions now. So we're getting a bit uh, hmm, more interesting questions. All right, so do you think there is a kind of exclusivity when it comes to VTubing? Or is it just an issue introduced by people who are gatekeeping or just generally negative? Oh, wait. Can you, can you repeat the question? Sorry. Ah, no problem. So, do you think that there is a kind of exclusivity when it comes to VTubing? Or is it just an issue introduced by people who are gatekeeping or are just negative or toxic? Oh, yeah. Definitely gatekeeping. It's, a, it's for everyone. VTubing. Mm. Everyone. Anyone can do it. Okay? Like... It just depends on your capabilities with it. I I just think that like a lot of people gatekeep it because they just want to be the the one to do it. You know, like oh, like, oh, don't do it. It's really hard. Blah blah. blah. Uh, like it's really for everyone. Okay, it like is if for you everyone, want to, yeah. yeah. If you want to, you try it. If you think it's your passion, go for it. You know, like like YouTube is for everyone. You don't need like. There's no. Um, test whatsoever to to see if like oh you're you're um fit to be a vtuber or no you cannot be a vtuber because of this and that mm -hmm. yeah, nothing nothing at all so yeah for everyone. everyone i mean making fun of making fun or stopping someone from vtubing um, is just as ludicrous as making someone uh, making fun of someone who is fat for going to the gym like I'm sorry. Is there an unspoken yeah, rule that is there an unspoken rule that the gym is only for fit people? No, the gym is for everyone. Right? Yeah, yeah. Everyone who wants to have a healthier lifestyle. That's both people who are healthy and out of shape. No, there is literally like it. It's it's for everyone. So yeah, for VTuber, you don't need like oh yeah, how much did you spend on your VTuber model? Yeah, you yeah. only spent a hundred. Oh, you're not a real VTuber. I'm, I'm sorry who, who wrote this rule yeah. <laughs> that we need to have a high quality model like no like i'm sorry like i can easily point i can easily point my finger to a couple of mutuals who have quote unquote like subpar quality models but i'm sorry they have more interesting content than people who have better models it's not the model is not the be all end all of VTubing. Like I I I honestly it baffles me how many people are still in that mindset that better model equals better stream. No. No, not really. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. I mean shocking. yeah, I mean it's not shocking when I did ask my Fox Trots, what did you think of Kava? The First thing that they said was your voice. I'm like, ha! I knew it. They definitely comment on Kava's really? voice. Yes, it was your voice. So I'm like, see, like, and the voice. I honestly believe that the voice is part of your personality. So yeah, regardless if you had a cheap, sorry, I hate using the word cheap. If you have an affordable looking model or a really high end premium model, it wouldn't matter because. 
your personality and your voice is gonna carry it either way. Um, well, I'm very glad that that's <laughs> one of the first things that they notice. I'm very flattered, actually. And yeah, I agree with that. It's always the personality. Doesn't really matter if your um, VTuber is um, basic or very unique. If your personality is kind of questionable or maybe a little too bland, then yeah, that we're gonna have some a little bit of you know. You should probably work on that. Mm -hmm. That's what carries you. Yeah. Streaming career. Yeah. Because getting a better VTubing model is. Well, if you can make it yourself, it's a matter of time. If you can't, it's a matter of money, but it's very possible. But when your personality is a problem, that is a you problem. And the only person who can tell you if that's possible yeah. is you. So yeah, you and you actually you actually have to want it. In my opinion, you actually have to want to improve as a person. Like no one should force you to improve as a person because ultimately there was no change. Like, if you change for the sake, yeah. like, completely for the sake of someone else, then there really was no change. But if you actually recognize, like, you know what? Yeah, I should drop this attitude or bad habit of mine. I should change. Then there is the change that um, really will affect you as a person. And it, it opens a gateway, too. Because if you change as a person like in one aspect what's stopping you from changing in other aspects right so yeah. if you can remove a bad habit what's stopping you from removing another one or making a good habit out of something yeah exactly right. yeah okay we're up to the penultimate question and i think this is very interesting so what are your top five advice that you'd share to those planning on debuting as a VTuber or they have just debuted as a VTuber? Okay. I mean, I, I can't scatter all of my advices in this whole interview already, but I'll just yeah, yeah. name them again. Yeah, go ahead. Um, in no order, one, um, when you advertise yourself, always wait for your model and your rigging to be ready before you advertise um and like start any advertising whatsoever mm -hmm. because you already know that you know it's finished so you can be ready anytime second it doesn't really matter if your model is the most basic one or the unique one as long as you know you make yourself fun make yourself your make your personality interesting and and be you be you in stream that's what matters always okay like um doesn't really matter what high quality art you got for your model sure you look great but at least you know like at the very least do it justice right mm. do it justice your personality and whatnot third always like in, in streams whatsoever don't like Personally, I don't do this, but just don't expect a lot, you know, like, just have fun. Don't, um, you know, like whenever you um, have like these, like whenever you stream or something, don't expect your viewers to do this and that. Don't expect things to to like go too well, you know, there there might be some scuff and something like that. That's fine, you know, like it, it, it happens a lot. It happens all the time and yeah, just have fun and wing it. Like, wing it. Wing yeah. it. Have fun. Yeah, we'll just wing it. Um another advice is wait, I ha I had one, but I forgot. Wait, let me remember it. Uh, um All good. The next one is probably um, <laughs> What was my advice? Okay, all right. Um Don't um what do you call this? Don't connect your success or your achievements to the amount of of traction or viewers you have. Okay, like I see that a lot. Um, I know a lot of streamers. Whenever they see their viewers or whenever they see their posts not doing well, they equal it to their 
achievements, you know, or or, mm. or their success. No, it's not. It's not. Not at all. Like numbers are just there. Okay, like your success is, you know, um, something else, something more than the numbers. And lastly, something that I personally go by all the time: do not come like. Especially in this VTubing thing, I I see a lot of people do not compare your achievements to other people, but oh, yeah. work on it. Like compare it to yourself. Like be your own competitor. Don't don't find someone else to be your competitor. Be your own competitor, and it works a lot. You know, like when you uh, set yourself as your own. Uh, what do you call that? Like set yourself as your standard. Mm. It helps a lot, you know. Yeah, I think. I think oh yeah, that is that is very good mentality. Yeah, mm. that's really good exactly. advice. And I, 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 I kid you not, guys. If you, especially just the last one, okay, just, even just the last one, you go by that. I assure you, everything will be fine. I swear. Like, just make sure not to compare yourself to others. Compare yourself to yourself. And that's that. Wow! Even in my stream, you are very comforting to, to my viewers. <laughs> very comfy indeed. Uh, <laughs> All right. I'm I'm so glad. I'm glad that I'm able to. Very bring consistently, comfort. very consistently comforting. Okay. Um, my <laughs> my top I'm five glad. advice. Number one for sure is preparation. Like prepare mm, yeah, i mean true. it may sound harsh but trust me if you're not preparing to succeed you are preparing to fail and um trust me even if okay um here's a mentality that i actually it sounds weird but believe me if you understand it it makes sense if something is worth doing it is worth doing poorly translation basically if you believe in something and you want to do it, doing it is already enough. You don't have to perfect it. I mean, um, when when you prepare, just prepare for the basics for V2 being like, okay, do you have a decent webcam? Do you have a model to work with? Do you have a theme? Do you have um, some basic overlays to work with? Do you have a plan as to what kind of stuff you will stream? basically even that kind of preparation is totally fine you don't have to worry too much like wait what what art hashtags do i use what um what should be my uh overall like uh budget for this or that like just prepare with the basic stuff first you can worry about that later on believe me because i used to worry about too many stuff like wait what if my what should my wait, wait, like what should my second or third outfit be <laughs> when i debuted i didn't even worry about my second or third outfit i was just worried more about more important stuff like my content i was worried more about what should yeah. i be streaming yeah. wait like i think i can stream more than yeah this was this is a very shocking part like anyone who's been with me since the beginning probably wouldn't believe that I'd be streaming like roughly five to eight hours per day when I could barely even pull three hours when I first debuted. But yeah, at yeah. some point I was like pulling five, eight hour streams and I'm like, oh boy, 2021 in Yoko would like to have a word with me because this is fucking crazy. <laughs> no way would I imagine doing stuff like this but yeah like a lot of stuff that you worry about like wait am i streaming long enough eventually that will become damn i think i'm streaming too long <laughs> so yeah but just oh, prepare yeah, with the worries. basic stuff That's just you did 14 hours before yeah i did <laughs> but nagi don't remind me I, I i might be getting into that groove again slowly <laughs> but anyhow yeah that's my first advice so prepare preparation 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 it's really trust me it does wonders more than people think okay number two number two um like cavalier and i said believe me um your vtuber model 
is really there just to hook people into your streams to your content but you as a person as a personality is what will convince people to stay it's it's really what will make people stay and if you don't believe me yeah, um think of how many big streamers people on the average watch it's only like single digits like realistically i myself i only watch like one or two big quote-unquote big vtubers even though there are others that have better models or they have like the best models i've ever seen but it's really the personality that makes you stay so yeah believe me and cavalier when we say this that the model is really just there to hook people into your content and to give you give the audience something to look at but the reason why they stay is really your personality that's true i agree with that very yeah. much <laughs> yes all right number three and i think um a lot of vtubers forget this take care of yourselves get enough sleep eat drink and even if um e like even if your audience cannot smell you take a bath okay taking a bath is not just for <laughs> smelling good okay it's to refresh yourself as well all right believe me now if there's something that not many people know mm -hmm. when they say i am mentally tired your body does not know how to translate that mentally tired here's a fun fact that i learned recently too when you're when you think you're mentally tired do you know what your body reads that as i am tired see when you're mentally tired you are also physically tired because mentally tired your body processes that as i am tired so you notice that when you're mentally tired you feel like you can't do anything like you're just not in the mood like you feel sluggish that's because that's how your body translates or understands mental fatigue it's just fatigue to the body now the reverse is a bit different when you are physically fatigued but you're mentally good i mean your brain processes it properly because you're like yeah i'm not I, i'm i'm mentally healthy like but i just I, i'm just not in the um my body my body's just tired period but whatever i'm chill i'm good i just don't want to do anything today because my body is clearly tired but the reverse is very different if you are mentally tired you are tired period so yes take care of yourself because if you don't notice it even if you try to hide it your viewers will your viewers will point that out for you like maybe the first few times it's a bit embarrassing but for them they'll be very concerned eventually to the point they'll be like mm, maybe we should keep our distance first let our strummer take some time off perhaps because trust me um i would rather like if i were say if i were a uh, a regular for Cavalier's channel, I would rather she miss a day or two of streams per week than she miss like an entire half a month because she burnt out really fast because she wanted to keep doing more and more for her community. It's good. Don't get me wrong. It's good that you want to do more for your community. We all have that temptation, right? Really want to give back to our community because we love our community so much. But if we do that to the point where we're just so tired and so burnt out they will miss more of us than if we just took a proper break every now and then so yeah you don't you do not have to yeah, I agree. you do not have to have an insane stream schedule like every day which is weird coming from me because i do stream practically every day i only take sundays off um but the thing is i take proper breaks <laughs> i actually take proper breaks i sleep i eat a healthy amount of time mm. and whatnot and there goes Kava's internet or iPad, I guess. It's all right. Oh, she's back. <laughs> you all right, Kava? Oh, and you're still muted, by the way. If you're talking right now. Oh, no, I'm not. I, I just, I think I disconnected. I'm sorry. All right, all good, all good, all good. <laughs> so yeah um like i mentioned um you do not have to have an unrealistic 
uh, schedule. You don't have to stream every day. You can literally stream every other day or twice a week or thrice a week. It's totally fine. And if anything, as Cavalier said, consistency is more important. Like, if you're consistently streaming three days a week consistently, it's better than you're streaming six days a week and then all of a sudden you stream only one day for like the next three or four weeks because you need to take a break. But don't get me wrong though, if you need a brief like hiatus of like one or two months just because like you don't want to do a half-assed stream and you want to refresh your creative juices, do that, please. If you think it's the best course of action, you definitely do that because sometimes you don't want to force a stream just out of necessity. Like that's bad. Um of course you want to push yourself to stream but if you're going to push yourself don't shove yourself off a cliff just nudge yourself to you know put out some quality content okay um fourth advice um i would say fourth advice if you are worried about um like a 2.0 model or another outfit I would honestly say, like, how about worrying first about your current model? Because, and it, it weird, it's weird, like, wait, why would I worry about my current model if I want a, a new outfit or a 2.0 model? Because, believe me, if you will not see what you want in your 2.0 model or... A new outfit if you don't know what is quote unquote wrong or what can be improved with your current model because i think what most vtubers do or worry is that when they see like another big vtubers model they're like oh man that's a really cool outfit i want that um here's the thing you cannot lose your identity completely when you transition from like another outfit or a 2.0 model i know it's kind of weird but um try to try to picture like if i mean you can see kava's png right now on my stream and if any of you checked her vod um vods yeah plural hang on let me give cavalier a shout out for any of you who aren't following you are missing out follow her right now okay um <laughs> so if you checked any of her vods you already know what her model looks like right um now of course it's still cavalier's a uh, call what her 2.0 model is going to look like but the proper way to do it is that if i see or if any of her fan base sees 2.0 cavalier they can still recognize it as cavalier that's why me when i move to this current model i still focus on the fox ears the green and yellow theme that i had with my previous model and i really moved to a more japanese themed outfit because i mean my vtuber name is a japanese name i even have japanese characters in my name so yeah there are there are ways to really um drastically change your model without losing like the immediate recognition right like when you see when you see this model, oh yeah, I know that that's Ryone. I know that that's Unagi. I know that that's Risa. I know that's Cavalier. I know that's Inari. And we see this every day with branding models, right? I mean, sorry, brand logos. When we see that um, red box with the play button, we know that's YouTube. When we see the bird, we know that's Twitter. They can do several changes to that, but they cannot change it drastically where we don't even know what the hell that is. And yes, Google, I'm talking about you. <laughs> Google's change in their logo sometimes just baffles me. Like, what? Um, <laughs> like, yeah, it's true. Anyone who has a Google do. Authenticator on their phone, when I saw like this weird icon that looks like an asterisk, I'm like, huh? What, what is this app? And then I open it, Google Authenticator. I'm like, what? This is weird. I remember There's Google Authenticator being a gray G. Like, huh? Exactly, Ryan. That's exactly my point. <laughs> if they wanted to change the the whole Google Authenticator thing to match the, you know, white and colored 
multicolored icons they have, they could have done a better way than asterisk. Like, what the hell? But anyway. <laughs> so yeah, again, when you guys, when VTubers, fellow VTubers, if you're worrying about your new outfit or your 2.0 model, especially when you have this like epiphany like oh my god i just saw this model on another vtuber that i think fits me well try to think first try to look at your current model first and look for areas of improvement first and then translate that into what you want for your 2.0 model or for a new outfit right that that that's my opinion okay and lastly believe in yourself more okay this is very very important as a vtuber believe in yourself more because there are a lot of us and realistically speaking we are not competing against each other we are competing well no, no we're not even competing we are um we are i consider it a journey that we are all like just partaking of or sharing in in my opinion like of course healthy competition is good because i say this a lot competition breed, breeds excellence when you want to be better than someone and you achieve that that someone is going to be try is going to try to be better than you and it's a never ending cycle where you want to improve and the person that you quote unquote beat wants to improve so that they're better than you as long as it's healthy it is a very good kind of competition because you know who benefits your audience and yourself because your audience were like oh my god like inari yoko is doing stuff better uh unagi is doing much better content like whatnot cavalier is doing a better job at presenting herself whatnot and they will enjoy your streams more they will watch more of your streams they'll be much more like enticed to like yo you guys should really watch this vtuber that i follow they are so cool and whatnot and everyone benefits everyone absolutely benefits not just like everyone as a vtuber but the community of vtubers because we really have to do better i mean we are not perfect I, and we've seen this recently like yeah, can the VTubing community go at least one week without drama or controversy or issues? Like, we've seen that trend quite recently, unfortunately. Yeah. They call out each other a lot, like, mm. too much. Ugh. Yeah. Like, can you rest your mind. Are you guys, like, and it's so ironic how they say, like, some things like, oh, I'm so tired of drama. Produces drama, anyways. Yeah, like, produces yeah. drama, anyway. <laughs> Calm down. Like you should stop oh, yeah. being toxic, and then says the toxic person themselves. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Gosh, no. Oh, yo. Like yeah, I mean, but yeah, like I said, um, going back to my my main point, be more confident in yourself, um, because if you don't believe in yourself, um, in some weird cosmic way your audience will also believe less in yourself because they need think of it this way how can you trust someone if they don't even trust themselves how can how can your viewers believe that you are trying to present yourself in a certain way when you aren't even believing that you yourself can do can do that So yeah, if you really want to, if you really want to, um, give back to your community because they support you so much, actually believe in yourself. Actually, um, don't just be full of negative thoughts like, man, I want to reach out to more people. I want more viewers. I want more quality content to present. That is okay but you have to balance it out with the positives because for anyone that thinks like oh my god my viewer my my concurrent viewers are so low there is someone with lower concurrent viewers than you that thinks you are doing so well so just try to picture that if you think that your current your current viewers viewer base is very low 
there is someone lower that you lower than you that thinks you're doing so much so like really successful and again this is coming from me like just seeing my daily viewers i did not believe i would reach that like when i first debuted i was already happy with my viewers back then but seeing what i can do now and how far i've gone like i can't just keep doing what i'm doing i have to carry myself and act like i do deserve this now of course there is there is of course a caveat do not step on other people okay <laughs> help them step higher you don't step on others as if you're on a high horse or something no 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 that, that that's not that's not how you do it now just because you got from like a smaller concurrent viewer to a higher one don't forget where you came from all of us began practically the same way we had low we had very low concurrent viewers now of course low is subjective some might think one is low some might think 10 is low some might even think 50 is low but whatever low is we all know what having a low concurrent viewership feels like so whenever you encounter someone or whenever you feel like you have a low concurrent viewership be more confident in yourself. You are not alone there, and there is always a way out. There is always a way out. And if you really think that you've hit, like, rock bottom, that only means that... I, I, it's a bit naive, but it's, it's just a healthier way to, th to see it this way. Um, the only way is up. So, yeah. Okay? Yeah, oh, okay. So and that is it for episode 34 of shrine talk again cavalier thank you so much for being uh, a very pleasant guest today oh thank you for being a pleasant host by the way i had so much fun you know having this talk with you it really means a lot to me and i'm very honored that you invited me today mm. I'm I'm glad we were able to get our schedule straight as well. Okay. Um... <laughs> yeah, I really feel about this, by the way. Like I, I know it's like I I was kind of late. <laughs> it's, so all right. it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Shit happens. It's okay. And besides, well, you weren't I, I... you weren't that late anyway. It's okay. No problem. <laughs> well, okay. I, um. I, mm -hmm. I... Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, you have anything else to say? Oh, no. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so before I end stream and take a quick break before my next scheduled stream, of course, I'm going to do what I usually do in Shrine Talk. I'm going to give the red carpet to my guests. So, Cavalier, if you have any shout-outs or, like, upcoming streams, now is your... Well, the floor is yours, so feel free to, like, Tell my viewers, tell the Fox Trots what you have planned in your upcoming streams and whatnot. Oh. Hmm? oh, Kava, your yeah, your <laughs> your signal's <laughs> getting bad. Very... If you want, you uh, can just uh, if uh, you want, you can just type it instead on uh, on Twitch chat just so they know. Definitely <laughs> Cavalier signal dying. <laughs> Unfortunate. But it's alright. Hmm. Mm. Filipino internet. <laughs> In a nutshell, yes. Alright. 
Um, so yes, uh, Foxtrots, uh, I already gave Caviar a shout out, and of course, kindly follow her on her streams. Um, you can check out her VODs if you want to know more about her. And of course, once again, Cavalier, thank you so much for being such a pleasant guest for today's stream. I hope those who watched, like, uh, were able to, um, learn stuff about, uh, well, VTubing, I guess. <laughs> and of course, I hope, um... Y'all could take our advice to heart because we did, we, we, I, my goal really for this was to give you guys, um, advice to work with because I really want all of you to succeed. Okay. I really want all of you to succeed. Oh, wait. Oh, come <laughs> Oh, good. Come here. It's okay, it's the internet. Yeah, it's all good. Don't sweat it. Okay, Foxtrots, I'll be ending stream here. I'll be taking a one hour break. So I'll see you at 4 p.m. GMT plus 8. I will be streaming Fortnite and Street Fighter 6. And of course, uh, like I said, um, if you haven't, if you haven't already, please follow Cavalier. I will do this one more time. There you go. If you haven't already, do give her follow. Um, Anagi, thanks again for the for modding this uh stream thank you thank you thank you so much i'll see you all later sayonara otsuyoko deshita watashi nai shinekitai korete honto ni koe desu arigatou gozaimashita terimakasi ontoku datanka stream nya sampai jumpa i'll see you all later bye bye